Hi there, Lloyd Macedo, speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. Who is Lloyd Macedo? Think personal branding. I, um, you know, I'll, when I woke up, I found out this news that uh, in Thailand, where I stay, um, there's been a shooting uh, where small children got killed. Okay. Um, r- right off the bat, since some of you have asked me, um, it's it's not... Uh, I'm safe. My family is safe. We stay in Koh Samui. Where this happened, uh, uh, the distance, um, I, you know, if I just check the distance between uh, two places, um, the place where it happened, it's 1,276 kilometers away. And it's a 19-hour drive from here. So, you know, right off the bat, I want you to know that uh, my my family is safe. However, you know, I, I can't even describe the mood that is that has impacted everyone, every single person who is here, expats, Thai people. Literally everybody is talking about it. I, you know, I woke up in the morning. I always check my phone just to check, are there updates? Is there anything? And then when I saw this Thailand shooting and that two children, the first thing I... I I checked the article, and um, at that point of time, it was 32 children, uh, 32 people. Now it's 38. The the part that really kind of affects me or destroys me deep within is my. I have a baby. I have a baby, and she studies in a preschool. Yeah, you know, small preschool like like the one where this this attacker went. It's more or less all of them are the same. They look the same. They have the same protocol that they follow from the government. And, um, you know, my wife happened to, because she's Thai, she got the photographs, uh, pretty graphic. I'm not going to share them. The interiors of this daycare is exactly the same like how my baby has, you know, A, B, C, D in Thai and all that numbers and and, you know, these children, when they go to school, they are supposed to sleep or there only. They sleep for one hour after food. This, this, this attacker, he went into the school, the 34-year-old police, former policeman. He was a lieutenant colonel who has been, who was dismissed for methamphetamine possession, okay, drugs or so he went into the nursery. He went into the nursery and uh, children were sleeping there, small babies, you know, as old as my, my daughter, small babies. They were sleeping there. And he took his gun and he shot the small babies. Um, you know, I'll, I'll tell you this honestly. When I... When I sat down and I thought about it, I I just imagined my baby. Uh, you know, the blankets that these children have is more or less, it kind of looks the same. The uniforms that they have kind of look the same. I just asked myself, if, if that had happened to us, I mean, how would I take it? And, you know, my... Uh, it was a very heavy feeling, I'll tell you that. And I just waited until, um, you know, I just waited for my baby to come home. And my wife was also disturbed when the baby came home. I saw my baby jumping, happy. You know, I'll tell you, so many thoughts came to my mind. Oh, sheesh, you know, what if it had happened? And then I went to the gym. You know, I've, I've come back from the gym. I've still not showered. I just came back from the gym. I sat on the treadmill. I kept reading these articles. It was, it was something I, I really, um, I found it very hard. You know, the thing that really bothers me the most is, you know, you see small children. You see small boys and girls, little children. You see their innocent 
smile, you see their innocence. You know, many times when I go and all these children get so fascinated with my tattoos, they're like, oh, 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 they go like that. And they call me Falang because I'm foreigner. And, you know, they look so cute and innocent. Boys and girls, you know, chubby ones, skinny ones, you know. And you look at their eyes, you, you look at their innocence. Then many a times, you know, I buy sweets, I buy chocolates, I give all of them. I, I don't know how someone could do this. Many of you have sent me messages asking, you know, am I okay? Yeah, we are fine, we are safe, but uh, it's, it's very disturbing, you know. I, 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 I really don't know how to explain to you, I don't know how to express to you what I'm feeling inside. You know, uh, I was not able to train in the gym. I came back and when I came back, I, I went to 7-Eleven, the convenience store. I, I, I purchased for my baby, um, you know, the chocolates that she likes, the toys that she likes. Because I was just asking myself, uh, okay, my baby always wants this. And, you know, I say, no, we'll buy next time. Um, because she has many toys. But trust me, I've, I've, I take care of her. She has literally a toy room. Okay. But then I was like, uh, why am I saving all this money for, you know, why not just keep her happy? So when I came home, I, I bought her, you know, the typical girly toys and I bought her ice cream and chocolate. I, I know it's not good, but, and I'll, I'm, I'm, maybe I'll share that video next, um, or I'll share it in this. I'm, I'm not too sure how. I re just recorded because I told my just record this because these are these memories and moments, you know. And I saw my baby play and I saw her. It's, um, I, I, I'm not going to cry or anything. Um, but it's, 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 it's a feeling I can't describe, man. You know, it's small children. The small children were sleeping there. You know. Then, what kind of a person can take a gun and shoot these small children? I can't even imagine that. Just imagine how frightened the children were when they saw this. They didn't know. They're looking at this gunman and and um, the photographs and you know which I got were pretty. In some cases, you have some daycare, this thing who are holding the children. They were both shot. And eventually, it seems this guy he went home and uh, killed himself and killed his family. The children's age was between two and four years old, and they were sleeping at the time. One of the teachers said, I thought it was a firecracker when I saw the window. I saw people on the floor. I saw him loading a gun. Another teacher tried to close the door, but the man shot at the teacher. There were fewer children present than normal because of the heavy rains. Many stayed at home. I'll put the links below. You know, in Thailand, guns are very rare. People having guns are very rare. And the ones who have that, Thailand has, you know, 10 million privately owned firearms, 4 million that were illegal and now unregistered. The firearm used on Thursday, had been obtained legally. And from my heart of hearts, I don't know what to say. You know, I was really thinking, if it was my baby, what would I do? Obviously, we would drive down there. Obviously, we would take a bullet for the baby, you know. Anyway, 
Um, I, I really wish I had something to say. Anyway. Yeah, just anyway, put your comments and thoughts down below. This may sign off.